It is a long way to reach our goal. The first researches were started in 2007 with the aim of studying the identification of our new potential home. But let's see what our scientists are doing now in Longyearbyen. K, or Dr. Fracture, as his friends call him, is a geologist who likes to look at rocks. This time, he heads out again to check out whether the rocks are a good home for Dioxy and our friends. With his hammer, compass, and rifle to keep the polar bears away, Dr. Fracture first needs to find the rocks. First of all, he wants to find a reservoir rock with plenty of space for Dioxy to live in. He then looks for a cap rock, which will be the roof on Dioxy's home, preventing her from escaping into the air. He takes samples so he can do some experiments back at home, like finding out how much space there is in the rock. With the compass, he measures natural fractures, which create more space for dioxin. Everything is carefully recorded in his notebook. Other important work has to be done indoors. Dr. Fracture takes out the cores drilled in Advent Dalen to find Dioxy's new home. In the laboratory, he once again measures the fractures to see if they are the same as in the field outside. When he's finished, he gives the data to Kim, our master of modeling. Kim works on the computer, looking at seismic lines, which show what the underground looks like. The data from Dr. Fracture are used to make a map of Dioxy's home, something we call a reservoir model. Together, Kay and Kim head out into the field again, this time to the drilling site where Dioxy will be living for the next 12,000 years. Capture and storage, we try to solve the problem By taking us from the source and after transport We put in underground CO2 Capture and storage, so the gas doesn't go in the air But goes to sleep into rocks, slacks and stones Where it will stay for a long, long time You know this isn't a solution but an interesting notion To fight against climate change We have to work all together with many other players